The job the Seaforce had drawn was across the Savio River as the Allies continued to press up the Adriatic coast in Italy. I was with our support company, known as the Tank Hunters. We always went into action right behind the attacking lead company, and we were supposed to get them out of trouble if they ran into serious tank opposition. Well, early on the night of October 21st, 1944, we received our orders. A Company was going to cross the river. With our Tommy guns and Piats, we were right behind them. I'll never forget that night. It had been raining for days, and the rain fellowed down in sheets. The ground was one great big bog, and you had to be pretty careful or you'd slip and fall. It was real sloppy. A Company crossed the Savio, and we of the support company waited to cross after them. The water was chest high but we got over without trouble. We were wet, but it didn't make much difference because we were soaked right through anyway. A Company went ahead for a couple of miles, and we sort of tried to make ourselves as comfortable as you can with torrents of rain falling and the ground muddy and slippery. About 11 o'clock that night, we received word that A Company had run into some tank trouble. They had to dig in where they were. and they couldn't get back, and nor, by the way, could the rest of the battalion get across. So there we were. My section, and there were five of us, went up about two miles to a place where the main highway was cut by a dead-end country lane. And we took up our position in a deep, muddy, beautiful ditch. The Germans were really given the place a shellacking, from self-propelled guns, from panther tanks, from mortars, and from small arms. As the night went on, the weather got worse. The rain was heavier, and it was black as a mine pit. But we could spot the tanks all right. And we hammered away at them until we had knocked out two SP guns, a couple of Panthers, and a German staff car. I was pretty lucky. The other guys in the section were either wounded or pinned down except my pal, Jimmy Tennant. The two of us kept our Piat and Tommy guns busy until Jimmy was seriously wounded. A few seconds before Jimmy was hit, a panther kind of sneaked up on us and all of a sudden let go with everything they had. And Jimmy and I were the targets. It was then that he was wounded. I noticed that about 10 Germans had jumped off the back of the tank and were charging us. So with Jim wounded, I had to load and shoot the Piat and try to knock out the tank. A fire burst with my Tommy gun to protect both of us from the charging Germans. I was a pretty busy guy for a few minutes, but we disabled the tank, and any German soldiers who were able to ran away. After that, I gave Jim some first aid, and then because he was still able to walk a bit, I half carried, half dragged him about 150 yards to a church where A Company was located so he could get uh, medical attention. The Germans continued to keep the whole area under fire, but I managed to get Tennant to the church safely. After that, I returned to the ditch and stayed there until the Germans had had enough and fell back. A few hours later, the rest of the battalion, and then the division, crossed the river, and the Allied drive continued up the Adriatic coast. 